I just think being a cheesemaker is a fabulous thing. Cheese is one of those few foods that modern humans actually evolved with and relate to it in ways that they don't know. As a cheesemaker, it's been really fun to see the interest in specialty cheese first and now in artisan cheese. When we started, everybody was going, ew, goat cheese, but now everybody loves it. And not just goat cheese, but all specialty cheeses. I decided this is what I'm gonna do, I need to make cheese. To me, it seemed like the perfect match of art and science that you could eat. You know, when you're a cheesemaker or you're a farmer, a lot of your work is solitary, uh, on the farm, in the cheese room. We literally sat in a lobby area on the floor and he um, expressed his vision. Vivaciously. Then it was, okay, what is our true mission? What we really ultimately became was an association of and for cheesemakers. And all of our efforts and our fundraising is for the betterment of cheesemakers, either through education, through networking, or through marketing. There's been maybe a tenfold increase in the number of cheesemakers uh, just in the last few years, uh, goat, uh, sheep, and cow. I knew I needed to come to where there was milk and there was a community of cheesemakers that, that would really help me and support me and advise me. It was nice to be able to pick up the phone and call cheesemakers who have been making cheese for 10, 20, 30 years and have them be accessible. It's a good platform for people who have questions to either start a conversation or find answers. Most cheesemakers don't have time to socialize or interact. The Education Guild offers classes and seminars to talk about problems and find solutions. We have educational seminars for the public and even for the trade. We do consumer events at the Cheese School in San Francisco. Sunset Magazine puts on a yearly event and we're there trying to spread the word of artisan cheese. I didn't know a lot, I knew something about cheese, but was eager to learn more. So I thought there might be an opportunity to host an event that would focus on educating the consumer. Then I started talking to the cheese makers. They said, yeah, I think it's, maybe it's a good time to start a festival. We're really supporting from the ground up these trades that Europe has been so fortunate to hand down through generation to generation. I really hope to build more of a network of sheep dairies in California so that we can have more sheep milk cheese. We import close to 100 million pounds of sheep milk cheese from other countries every year and uh, we just need to make more here. We wanted to preserve the land and our family as well as the legacy of our parents' hard work. Fortunately, you know, the cheese movement has been so successful over the last 10 years. We're able to, especially on a family farm, is to be able to support all those family members that want to get involved in the business. If you're interested in uh, supporting arts and cheese makers, I, I think this is like step one. Join the guild. The quality and experience and dedication of the people that, that are here now will have been fertile ground for the rest of the people to, to start getting in. And, and we should have lots of new cheeses, new cheese makers, extraordinary cheese is being made in California. Once people taste artisan cheese and see the quality, see the variety, it's hard to go back. We think if we focus on cheese quality, everything else will fall into place. Culture is not just in the cheese. It's in the people, it's in the place, it's in everything we do.